Hey everybody, this is Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com for all things Vespa. Check us out. Right here I have the bag hook, a little uh, pyramid of bag hooks. And if you're wondering what this is for, on the Vespa GTS, right located right underneath the handlebars is this bag hook. It folds away from the bodywork. It's reminiscent of the bag hook that's found on vintage Vespas right underneath the seat. You can hook a grocery bag, a handbag, keys, and whatever else you want. You actually find that it's pretty practical, especially putting using the extra space between um, the leg shields. For instance, if you need to bring more uh, goods, even a backpack will hook right off that. Big problem is the included bag hook. I'll show you this part. Part number is 575819, and that's the original part. You're buying a $9,000 scooter and it has something that looks like a cheap toy model. The thing is all plastic. The molding is just like, it's pretty hideous. I don't like criticizing Vespas that much because I just have a lot of big, pa uh, big passion for them. But this part is just horrible looking. Um, you overload this, it will break, of course, being plastic. So we got the solution for you. All these machined aluminum bag hooks. There are two different styles and obviously five different uh, finishes. You got chrome plated, uh, just the, the bare anodized aluminum. And then we have these new Vespa Motorsport exclusive ones that have more of a squared off edge. Uh, pretty cool. But you can see they fold out. They have a really nice detent to them. The spring action is much stronger, so the bag's not going to fly off. And just completely machined from aluminum. Very good quality. They look much better. They look like they fit an expensive Vespa, unlike the plastic part that comes on the scooter. And I'll show you how to install this. First of all, you have to remove the glove box. I'm gonna do a separate video of removal of the glove box and the floorboard to replace the leg shield trim on this brand new HPE uh, 2020 SuperTech. I think most people find that to be a separate useful video because oftentimes you wanna replace the trim. Whether you've dropped the scooter, the trim may uh, sustain some damage or um, you're looking to change the color or you just wanna replace the bag hook. One more tip, if you're gonna use this to hold 10, 15 pounds, um, you know, five, six kilos, you got the pair of screws. These are a different style screw compared to the plastic hook that just has self-tapping screws. This is what I su suggest doing is just finding some washer to back it up. The hook doesn't include these washers, but pretty simple to find at any hardware store. And back it up with a washer when you install it. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit stronger of an install. Pretty straightforward. So now that we got the glove box off, we're gonna go ahead and replace that cheap plastic bag hook with a much higher quality metal bag hook. So the bag hook is just retained by two self-tapping uh, screws. Ironically, with a Phillips one, look how loose that is. It's from the factory. And those screws will not get reused for the, the new style bag, bag hook. So the old bag hook comes out, no big deal. The new one's gonna go in. One thing to keep in mind, sometimes these holes are a little on the small side. So check fitment. You can see they're not gonna go through. The, the, the holes for the, um, the metal bag hooks, they're always the M5 style. Uh, fastener. I added these washers. They normally don't come with uh, washers. Sometimes the bag hooks also have uh, hex style fasteners on the back. So you can either take a drill and chase it with something that's slightly larger than five millimeters. Um, another option is to take a, a screwdriver. You can ream it out with a screwdriver. Doesn't need to be too pretty looking. Just the hole. And that's probably enough to get it through. Just a little bit. Let's hold the, the screw in place. So get the two screws started. You see the backside of the bag hook has got the, 
the one corner with the round, obviously it matches right up to the other side. Kind of feel your way around, get the screw started. And one thing, there's a little bit of a uh, give. So if you wanna look at the, the bag hook before you tighten down the screws, make sure it's centered in the cavity where it installs, check that. Just go between the two screws and it looks pretty good. So that's pretty much how you put a bag hook in. Kind of a lot of steps. You don't need to take the floorboard off, of course, but Glove box needs to come off, or at least partially come off, to gain access to the two fasteners. But definitely a nice upgrade, kind of labor intensive, but pretty inexpensive part to install. So now that you got your bag hook installed and the glove box all buttoned up, I'll show you how it functions here. So it flips out away from the body work. You can see the upper section folds further away so you can hook a bag. So if it's a bag with a short strap, you can just hook it right like that. Um, it's not gonna fall off the bike. If you wanna tighten up the bag, a couple ways to go about it. Sometimes I'll do that and then go around a couple more turns. That's one way to go about it. And then now the bag is tight and in the center. Another option is just tie a knot in your um, bag or even the handle on a rucksack or backpack or something works just as good. So that's pretty much how you use the bag hook on the Vespa. And with this really strong bag hook, I mean, I could probably almost pull my weight. It would pull the bag hook out of the glove box before you'd break the hook on one of these new replacement metal bag hooks. So this product takes a little more skills to install, but it's quite a useful and good looking product to put on your Vespa. Check out all our other YouTube Vespa related videos. Whether you have a vintage Vespa and you're looking for some repair tips, I've done a full restoration several years ago. It's still all current stuff. Vintage bikes never change, the same thing. Um, all the way up to the latest bikes where I've done reviews on the very latest Vespas and Piaggio products coming out of the factory. Uh, also all our accessory videos, just search GTS bars, GTS mirrors, uh, some of the videos we have categorized, you can check them all out in all the different products. Most of the products that fit the older GTS fit the HPE uh, 2020 Vespa GTS with no problems. There's just some minor differences such as tail light, um, the front horn cover, so it's a different front rack. And of course we got you covered. And we have more and more products that are exclusive to the scooter uh, trickling out. These bag hooks, they'll fit anything from 2005 on for the Vespa GT range. Until next time, this is Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com here in San Diego. For all things Vespa, check us out. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Vespa Motorsport. Subscribe to our channel, hit the little bell. Um, helps us out. I'm pretty excited to see that we have so many subscribers following our videos. Until next time, Robot.